Okay, people. So this is uh, the king snake. You remember the king snake? This is actually going to be his first feeding since I've got him last week, and we're going to see if he takes it. I don't know if he's going to, but we'll see. Come on, buddy. It's a mouse for you. I'm not sure if he's going to take it or not. He doesn't seem too horribly interested in it, really. Uh, we'll follow him around with it for a little while and see what he does. You gonna take it, buddy? Darn it, it wasn't even in frame. He's munching it though. That's excellent. Wasn't uh, as hard as I imagined it was going to be, but sweet. I'm happy he ate. Trying to take a picture. He had a little wound on his side when I got him. Probably from the dog. Let's see if I can get a picture of that to show up halfway decently. Probably not going to happen. Not at this angle, at least. Well, that, my friend, is very, very good. I'm happy to see that. There's always a question, everybody watching this probably um, can relate, there's always a question as to whether they're going to eat or not, especially something that's wild caught. And uh, that question's answered now, so that's, that's awesome. Super happy. Come on, munch that thing down. Doesn't look like he's having any problems getting it down there. Got a piece of substrate stuck to your head though, buddy. <coughs> just move this a little bit. I'm assuming he's going to move forward when he's done. Wouldn't be the first time I was wrong well on that. I'm going to get over here to see if I can get a good picture of him stretching his jaws out. People always love those pictures. <whistles> Mr. 
message. Oh, you little turkey. You're going to move backwards, aren't you? You're going to have to move this camera then. Zoom it out a little bit so we can alleviate any of those worries. Aha, uh -huh. perfect. Thank you. You guys are going to love that picture. I'll put it at the end here. Okay, so that's that. Time to move on to uh, some other work. Enjoy. Well, now we get the opportunity to work with some snakes that I absolutely love to work with. And we're going to pair a couple of them up right now. Come here, sweetheart. You are just not a happy snakey, are you? There you go. What do you think about that? Oh, you're going to try to run away, are you? Beautiful, beautiful animals. These are garter snakes if you're uh, unaware. Oh, he's coming out to check her out now. Barely see his head popping out down there. Come on, focus, you darn thing. He says, Hey, sweetheart. Zoom out so you can see them both. Hey guys. Alright, well we'll leave you two alone. We're going to go pair a couple more snakes up and uh... We'll see you after a while. Yeah, duck back into your house. All right, and there's that big guy. We're going to put a beautiful big girl in there with him. Come on, are you going to bite me or poop on me or anything? Please don't, because I really don't like that. Well, you're a little, you're a big girl, aren't you? Relax, relax, there you go, calm down. Oh, you're going right away, you're going to go in there and hide, you're going to run away. I bet you come out the other side though. <laughs> oh yeah, there she is, coming out the other side. These are just fun snakes to work with, I think. Um, you know, they don't, not rodent eaters, 100% fish eaters, and they'll eat frogs too, but I don't go feed them frogs. I just feed them, feed her fish from the pet store. And um, they're live bearers too, so that's pretty sweet. Live bearers are, you know, like the boas and, and stuff. They're uh, pretty, pretty fun, in my opinion. <coughs> Pretty fun. They sure are fast little buggers though. And look at her, she's showing a little bit of interest in uh, 
getting out of here. She's showing interest on skipping town. So we'll leave them to their devices and uh, we'll see what happens with both of these pairs.